kind of splooge is that? Who knows? This is cardboard. <laughs> Cardboard's vintage at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, I pulled a Don Quixote tonight, and this is why I am making this quick little video, is to say, if you're gonna go slaying dragons, make sure you're actually slaying dragons and not chasing windmills, man. So, this is the Technics SAGX690, which is a beautiful receiver from the late 90s, uh, or mid 90s, I don't know exactly, I never even went and looked it up, but anyway, Made in Japan, beautiful piece of technology, beautiful thing. I have it in the living room, and I noticed that it's kind of hot. I had the hard drive sitting on top of it, and I noticed that it, it, it's getting kind of warm in there. I'm like, hmm. And I don't really have much going on either. It's not really that loud or anything, so I'm like, okay, what, what's going on here? So I look, and, and if you notice, I can heavy duty thing here. This thing weighs a ton. There's a fan here. I was like, huh, I guess I didn't check that. That fan's not spinning. Oh my God. So, like Don Quixote who saw that windmill, I immediately went to slay that dragon. I was like, I can fix this. I ripped all the wires out of the back of everything. Forgot to turn the subwoofer off before I part turned that off. That made a big noise and blew up the house. Boom. And then, so then, Ripped everything out, that's probably not a good idea because I don't have anything labeled yet because this is still the new setup. So okay, well either way, that's fine. Pulled it out of here, came out here, grabbed this thing. Okay, how are we gonna get out of here? Now if you look down in this, uh, yeah, right in here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, um, let me just jam these back a little bit. Okay, so down in here, you see the fan pops off, pop, 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 and then you get under there and it's on the contacts. Well, I guess I can pop it off and show you. At this point, it's coming off pretty easy, actually. No, because I've done it three times. These plastic spudgers came in handy because I don't want to scratch this stuff up and I don't want to break anything. So if I'm only pushing the plastic, then it should be okay. Well, anyway. This is actually not a bad troubleshooting thing to go, go apparatus to go through. This is what I did. Now, I only keep in mind, only in the last few minutes so I know that I'm Don Quixote, but. So there it is, and you can see, oh, I gotta get this camera mounted differently, but anyway, it's got two little contacts here, uh, positive and minus, uh, and then down in here, it's got this little, Thing right there that it sits on and uh, when you just push that in it sits now what I did is I hooked this up to my handy dandy power supply that bench power supply that I recently fitted and I said well, well let me just apply 12 volts to it and see what happens because you know, I want to see if the fan spins maybe the fans busted well no she took up oh I touched that, I touched that. so she took off, ready to fly like a uh, airwolf, so we're good. Now, then I checked this. Continuity says, now this is all good troubleshooting. I'm not, not a bonehead yet. I mean, I am a bonehead, but watch. All right, I checked this, and this says it's, uh, I mean, well, it's not plugged in. But I was doing this, let's pretend, and this isn't even plugged in. But I was reading in here between 12 and 14 volts. I'm like, okay. All right, so it's good power of a thing, but I couldn't touch it, it wasn't doing anything. What the hell's going on, what's wrong? Now, I can't figure this out, so I need to get at that piece, so now I have to take the whole transformer off, move that, move the thing, delicate. I don't like touching this stuff if I don't have to, if I don't have to move it. I had to take this piece off down here, um, slid it out, pulled this out, I had to undo a bunch of stuff. Got to this, now it was pretty corroded looking, and this also was pretty, um, Nasty, so I put the oxide all over it. I actually soldered, soldered some wires on here uh, in my testing phase, so there's a little blobs on there, but that's okay, that's not too bad. So that was, I'll push it up, and I deoxied it before, and I deoxied all this, and that was pretty nasty looking. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, okay, well, if, if maybe this is just not running enough current, which is really ridiculous, even though I'm getting the voltage, because 
you know, this is not a lot of current. It's 0.23 amps thanks to my new bench power supply with my output. But so I sat out here and scratched my head for a while. I was kind of upset about the whole thing. And I'm like, okay, well, what am I going to do? Mm, well, maybe I can just, it's just a DC fan. Where can I tap power? And I tried to tap power over here on the transform pad a little bit. No, 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 I couldn't find that. And I'm looking over here and I'm like, okay, well, uh, so what do you do when you're stuck? You go to YouTube. And this is the beautiful thing is, is I put uh, something like Technics receiver fan repair or something like that. And what popped up, but some guy fixing an SA GX690. You know, I'd forgotten what the serial number, what the model number was on this right now, which is why I didn't use it in the first place. And when it came up, I'm like, I think that's my model. Yeah, because I just got this. <laughs> I looked in, I'm like, I'm looking at the video. I'm like, oh, I got that on my bench. Yes, I know exactly what's going on. Okay, so what he was doing, he goes, well, I don't really like it because it gets hot in here too much because the cat sits on it and the fan doesn't kick on until you put a load on it. I'm like, oh my God. So put the whole back thing thing back together. And of course, when you just plug it in, there's no, nothing going on. It doesn't do it. But like, so I put, put it all back together and I just hooked it up and put a tape in. And yes. Okay. So it is working exactly as it's supposed to. And I just spent a whole bunch of time pulling this apart. For it not to be broken. Now, what the guy was doing is, the guy in the video, mm, I can't remember, Electric Karma or something, or I don't know, whatever. It was a cool video. Uh, he had a couple of videos about this and some other stuff, but and a couple other mods that he did with it, which is pretty neat. I'll go back to it later. But what um, what he initially was going to do instead of using this power is he tapped out some power over here somewhere and ran it over and he put a little thermal thing so if this got a little hot then it would as soon as this got warm it would kick on the fan the power on the fan and he didn't like it because it was giving noise over here um so he just put it he put a brushless fan back in here because these are old fans and whatever and i don't care about that i don't care about the noise or anything i want this thing so okay so i'm don quixote i went off here's the point is like i went off trying to fix something that wasn't broken. If I had just paid a little bit more attention, I would have realized, oh, the other thing I noticed was that, in my internet searches was that, oh yeah, these, they're um, class A, class H, it's class HH, which is like, I don't, I don't know exactly, because it's a weird thing, but it has to do with the transformer. But either way, they're always sucking power and they're always running hot, and that's just the way they are, which is why that, the other guy that was making the videos had a problem with his cats on him. So, which I thought was kind of funny because here's the vent right here. And see, I had hard drives up here and I'm like, hmm, that's a little hot. And it, so, um, this, is, so I went chasing after a problem that didn't exist. Um, but in the meantime, I did figure out a couple of things. Uh, so the first thing is, is be very, very careful. If it's already fucked, you can't fuck it farther, so go ahead and try to unfuck it any way you can. But if you got something that's nice here, and I, that's, a, that's probably a, a copyrighted uh, phraseology there from uh, our good friends over at that other channel. Uh, but if, it, if it's not fucked, you gotta really take care to, if it's not completely fucked, you will fuck it worse if you're not completely careful about what you're doing. And that was, you know, I didn't want to break anything, but I'm starting to look around. And going, what's, going what's going on? Now, what I will do, now here's the other thing. This is great. God, I love technology. You, I, this is the thing. I don't think anybody understands just how awesome life is today. I went online also in the course of doing this to find out, to see the multiple videos about this and the other mods that the guy did and the other repairs and to talk about the specifically about the fan and the problem with the fan. And the other thing I found was a service manual for the for this model. So that means no, not just the owner's manual, the service manual that's got complete specs, complete uh, board board uh, schematics, complete everything. Troubleshooting guide for, for field technicians. Um, yeah, um, that was where I was going to go next. There was actually a whole big thing about how if the fan doesn't work. Oh, because I learned in the videos it has to do with overload. Now, this never overloaded because it was never really got too hot. It was just too hot for me because I like, I don't like hot electronics. I 
I guess, you know, whatever, that's one of the 90s tech, this is things that would happen. I don't, but I don't like it. I, I, wanna, I wanna put a fan on this. So inadvertently, I see what I need to do is get into the service manual and, oh, look at this, isn't she a beaut, by the way? Oh, this is just so great. Uh, the only thing is it did have a passive subwoofer and I needed an active subwoofer, so I had to build a subwoofer off to the side, but that's fine. Um, she kicks. Um, I will get into the service manual and figure out where I can tap a power feed somewhere in here or somehow figure out what the switch is so that it bypasses this because I'd like to have this fan on all the time when the power's on. And I don't see why that's a problem. Now, when the worst comes to worst, I could probably somehow tap out of the... I have to figure out with the subwoofer in the box and I could tap a little power, a little power jink back. And um, of course that's 24 volt in there. I could probably run the fan on 24 volt, but that'd be like, um, but I could probably tap it buck down and then, um, and wire something in on the outside, but I'd like to self contain it if I can. Anyway, <coughs> bottom line is, <coughs> excuse me, troubleshoot. Troubleshooting is good, troubleshooting is important and going through the steps, but the first most important thing to check and see if there's a problem is, is there really a problem or are you just misinterpreting uh, what you're seeing? Now this is another thing um, I had to work at work uh, with, with, with uh, you know, the computer system and the people at work, they're like, uh, it doesn't do it doesn't work the way I want it to work. Something's wrong, or it's, it doesn't. It's not working properly. It's not. So, okay, well, what's it doing? And, and you look at it. And, well, it does this, and then it does this. And I'm like, okay, and well, okay. Well, here's the thing. It is actually doing exactly what you told it to do, but what you told it to do is not producing the results that you want. So it's not doing anything wrong. It's actually following the exact, exact, exact. So in this scenario, it's thinking this, so it's waiting for this, and you haven't done that yet. You want it to do that, but you haven't told it to do that. And so therefore, there's where the disconnect is. And there's a whole, and, and once we understood that and explained that, and, and the light bulbs started clicking in people's heads, and it was like, okay, same with this. It's like, um, you don't need to go, Finding something broke until you know it's broke. And if a little bit of digging, a little bit more of experimentation <coughs> to see that the fan kicks on when I turn power up, that would have probably saved me half an evening's time. And this is boring looking at this thing, so it would save me half an evening's time. So just just make sure you're really fixing something before you go off running around, pulling your soldering iron out, trying to Take care of business. That's all I have for tonight. Thank you very much.